afternoon and welcome to CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Thanks so much for hanging out with us this afternoon. How's your day so far? I can't complain. So you far, good? So good, yeah, All right. absolutely. Awesome. We're excited because today we're going to be talking uh, with a director, producer extraordinaire, who's bringing pizza, well, not bringing pizza to New Haven, but highlighting all the wonderful pizza here in New Haven in a really cool documentary and how he got Michael Moore wrapped into all of this. It's all coming here to really New Haven. Really fascinating. There's an opportunity to check it out. And uh, the motto is it wasn't invented here in New Haven. Mm -hmm. It was perfected in New Haven. I'd like to know I about beats. the research that went into that. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of pizza eating, right? <laughs> Sally's, Peppy's, Modern, the whole bit. Also, we're going to be talking about the Puerto Rican Day Parade coming up this That's weekend. Right. We're going to be talking to one of the sponsors and, and what they're doing in the community. So that'll be good, too. All right. Very good. Well, today's dish is all presented by Stone Academy. And we all know at the beginning of a baseball game, someone throws out a first pitch. Typically not yeah. someone used to pitching. Which I feel like you've done this time or two. Have you thrown out a few first pitches in your a day? A few first pitches, um, softball games, that type of ah, thing. So like low key, not low on key. national I mean, television. I wasn't at Yankee Stadium oh, Okay, or all right. <laughs> well, take a peek at this first ceremonial pitch that was thrown at the Royals game. And I believe the White Sox and up. How does that even happen? A bit outside. She should have practiced that a little better. Yeah, I mean, think? hold just straight. Yeah. It didn't have to be a strike, but you probably didn't want to injure anyone. M maybe have a catch with like your coworker, one of the players beforehand, uh, just you know, to warm up, warm up one. a little bit. I mean, the the announcer was saying, was it the best or the worst? First pitch of all time. I mean, I think that's pretty darn good. Ooh, wow, mm. wow. That's almost as bad as Roseanne Barr singing the national anthem. I was going to reference Cubs Mariah game. Carey throwing out the first pitch, which was also pretty bad. Pretty awful. bad. Uh -huh. I, I heard you were at the Yard Goats game last night, we right? We did. We had For a your great sister's game. birthday? Yes, we celebrated Rachel's 25th birthday. It poured, but yeah. the game went on. Well, do, do we have video of you throwing out the first pitch at the Yard Goats no, no, game? No, no, I wasn't invited oh, to oh, do that. No, all it didn't right. happen last night. Maybe some other time. <laughs> Never mind then. Hey, there's so much happening here in Connecticut. Uh, from from celebrities throwing out first pitches, mm -hmm. which didn't happen. But uh, today, singer Gavin DeGraw is actually going to be performing in Connecticut, which is kind of a big deal. Yeah, this is a reward, actually, for kids at the Noel Wallace Elementary School in Farmington. He's making the appearance to celebrate the school winning first place in the 2019 Bag It Up for Goodwill Challenge. The donation of more than 79,000 clothing and house household items. That's the highest number ever collected by a single school. How cool is so that? So they get a concert. I saw these billboards on the side of the road, and it was like, oh, log on or try it online and mm -hmm. Gavin DeGraw can. And when you see a lot of those things, you think, oh, it'll never happen here. They did. And then what do you know? I, I saw him. He, he, he was just at Mohegan Sun with the Backstreet Boys this past winter, <laughs> well, and now he's, he's be performing. performing. At the elementary school. Yeah. That's great. That, that just kicked off at noon, so congratulations to them. And a couple of weeks ago here on Style, we were talking about actor Kit Harrington from mm -hmm. Game of Thrones. So sure. he, he was spotted in Madison at RJ Julie bookstore and everyone you know there's kind of this fanfare around it and he had said that he was here on holiday uh, well, there's news that the Game of Thrones actor has been checked into a wellness facility here in Connecticut and apparently he, he's been there for about a month and it mm -hmm. became uh, it, this all happened just before the finale of Game of Thrones. I mean, it's got to be stressful that yeah. the show is ending. I mean, that's your life probably. Yeah, and, and according to these reports, some of that stress was from the ending of the show, how uh -huh. it ended, which we won't give away any spoilers, <laughs> and a lot of the fan reaction having negative reactions to it. So we, we really wish him the best of luck. He's, uh, you know, working on some of those stress issues. Yeah, and also the best of your time here in Connecticut, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, but... but but also, I, I think one of the things to point out last time, a, a lot of people on Facebook were commenting, oh, where is he? We got to find him, this and that, which is fun if in, in that humorous sense. But at the same time, you got to give the guy privacy, especially during this time. You have to respect that. So Absolutely. wish him the best. Sure do. An 11 year old boy from Bloomfield competing in the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Well, his video is going viral because he really took his time to spell out the word. That he did. So <laughs> there's different uh, lights that light up that, that kind of tell, tell you, you stop you and have go. about 10 seconds left. So he just waited till the last minute. And so <laughs> his, his word was ginkgo, like ginkgo biloba. And so he just sent it to the end and it, it ended up going viral, I guess, right? Yeah, he just waited. Maybe he thrives under pressure. I don't know, but he wanted his five minutes up there and he got him. And there you go, and he moved on to the next round. And also, student Janelle Newell is also going to be part of that fun and it's excitement. So, so congratulations. Have you tuned into that before? I haven't, but, uh, you know, talking about leading up way until the last minute, I feel like that's us here on the show. You know, we, we, we just thrive <laughs> on the excitement of not knowing what we're doing every day. We just walk into the studio and say, what are we doing? But one guy who's good under pressure, the Jeopardy master at this point, Jeopardy, Jeopardy James. Jeopardy James. This guy's it's insane. so fun to watch. James Holzhauer won his 29th straight game last night. His overall winnings total more than $2.2 million. Now that means he's about $265,000 away from beating Ken Jennings' record. 
and that could be on track to do later this month. I was thinking about this because I watch this every night. Yes. I'm way into it. Yeah. What if Ken Jennings and Jeopardy James go uh, head to go head? Who would win? That would right? be a Is battle. Is there going to be like a battle of the champions? When is that going to happen? That would be that must would go see on TV. For like effort. I think James would win. I mean, this guy's on a roll, and and he he has a whole different technique. And I mean, he he has got the momentum already. I mean, he if, does. He was a hundred thousand dollars in the lead the last time, well, last night while I was watching. Which is insane. Crazy. Good for him. <laughs> I, I still hope because I mean, we talk about him here on Style every I day. I want to meet him. He's so cool and collective. He's with the Daily Doubles. He's I don't like, know. roll the dice. I just want a percentage because we keep talking about him. I, mean, I like feel like we him. should get five percent or ten <laughs> or so. I mean. Benny Wright? I mean, that would be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. All right, this is a heartwarming story. Uh, it's kind of difficult um, when you know that your son or daughter, they have a problem, and your insurance company is not paying for the necessary items. We know yeah. the story's about a boy. His name is Logan. He has hypotonia, and he needs a walker okay. to get around. So the insurance wouldn't cover that. So mom Googled it and figured out how you can make your own walker for this, uh, for, for someone his size too. So what they ended up doing was going to Home Depot and she kind of explained herself. And as you can see right here, the lovely employees at Home Depot decided that they were going to take it into their own hands oh. and build the walker for little Logan. As you can see there, he is happy and able to walk now. So big shout out to the crew over there at Home Depot. And, and here locally, we have a good friend at our Middletown Home Depot, right? We sure Vince do, the right? voice. We have to shout out to Vince, who's been on our show a couple times. You so. should go visit him. I think you're due for a visit. <laughs> I'll be seeing you soon, Vince. I need some new lumber. All right, getting through airport security requires taking off your shoes, emptying your pockets, removing all the metals. But that means passengers often forget something. And we're talking about a lot of spare change. Of change, right? So, yeah, but get this. Uh, right, I got nothing. So the TSA <laughs> said that they added up all of this change, and across the U.S. in the past year, they have collected nine hundred and sixty thousand dollars of unclaimed money, almost a million bucks. Yeah, they put it back into the agency. But they they did, up, yeah. do the upgrades and that type of thing. I know the most money came from JFK, about seventy-two thousand dollars in loose change. I think we should start doing that here on CT Style with all the astute guests that we have and, and big money makers. I mean, we gotta have something money in, in here. the couch. <laughs> I mean, that's just yes, thousands. I'm and, sure, right? Right, we but should that's a lot look of money, in there. Yeah, right? that's Grab insane. Your change. Speaking of money, we're trying to help you guys save some money, and maybe it's a perfect gift for someone. Living Local it. Deal. Absolutely. You get half off a $100 gift certificate to the Main Switch Beauty Salon in Middletown. Go to WTNH.com backslash Living Local Deals. Check it out. They specialize in, well, they do makeup, they yeah. do color, hair. And we had a demo on yesterday. They were here. It's on our website, WTNH.com, of how they take straight hair, make it curly, vice versa, and, exactly. and different tips for that. So you can check out that segment. But this is a great deal. You save 50 bucks. And if you're looking to maybe change hairdressers or you know somebody that needs their hair did or Save waxing, some money. Absolutely. there it is. So again, it's a great opportunity. WTNH.com/slash Living Local Deals.